Good morning, everyone. If it is morning when you're watching this video, I'm going to take y'all along with me on a Blu-ray hunt. I'm heading to a used movie store for the first time in quite a while. I have a number of titles I'm going to trade in and hoping to get a few bucks for that and maybe pick up some new titles as well. So I haven't been Blu-ray hunting for quite a while now. And so I thought for this momentous occasion of doing it again, I take y'all along. So I got a couple of Blu-rays I'm trading in. One is Everything Everything. This is my wife's. We never really watch it and we have the digital copy anyway. So if we did want to watch it, we could watch that. I have my Yellowstone season three, which I have a three season box set. So I don't need that one. So I'm trading that one in. Uh, 2012 on DVD. I'd rather have that one on Blu-ray or maybe 4K. Brave on DVD. Rick and Ralph on DVD. A lot of these Disney titles, they're on Disney Plus. So I don't really feel the need to own the DVD. Well, Hairspray, I just got that on Blu-ray right now long ago. Hitch, that is a full screen DVD, which I will never watch. And same with this Hancock is a full screen DVD I will never watch. Um, Snow Dogs, another Disney title on Disney Plus, another one hate below, like all these stuff. It's like, we don't want to watch them too often anyways. So we're gonna just watch them on Disney Plus. And then lastly, Cars, this is also in full screen. This is one I would like to get on Blu-ray because it's one of my Disney favorites. So I'm gonna be trading all these in and see what I can get. Maybe I can find Cars or maybe finally pick up that Incredibles Blu-ray I've been wanting to get. Uh, so we'll see what I can find there. I'll take you along, show you some of the stuff in the store and we'll see what we can get. Well, hopefully you enjoyed following me through the store there. I didn't get too much footage inside because I didn't have a ton of time in there, but I did end up getting in and they it's one of those stores that'll pretty much take all your trades and just give you X amount of dollars for either cash or store credit. Uh, I didn't get as much as I would have liked. They were offering $3 cash and $5 store credit. I was hoping for maybe closer to 10, but hey, you can't win every time. So uh, let me show you what I picked up real quick and then show you something else real cool that I got too. So I uh, first... I got Assassin's Creed Lineage. They have this in the clearance section actually for just a couple of dollars. That's the, this is the prequel to Assassin's Creed 2. It's kind of like a live action movie, sort of. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. I watched it back when I was really into Assassin's Creed 2 and stuff. So excited to check that out again. I've been wanting to pick it up for a while and that's obviously you can't really get it any cheaper than that. So excited to check that out. I also got a new 4K upgrade. I'm trying to upgrade my Dark Knight trilogy to 4K. So I figured, start with the Dark Knight. So I got this one for a pretty good deal, less than 20 bucks at the store there. Came with the slipcover too, which is really cool. And then besides that, also got the movie I recently checked out for the first time, Snowden on Blu-ray. I got this for only $6 as well. And I pretty much got this for free because they gave me the $5 of trade-in. So that's kind of where I counted it. So check this out on Netflix, really liked it. Wanted to add it to my collection eventually. Figured for $6, can't really go wrong with that. Came with a slipcover too, so that's really neat. And then uh, lastly, I picked up uh, another 4K upgrade for me, and that is Arrival. So last time I watched Arrival, I it's a really dark movie, like aesthetic, and or not aesthetic, visually. And so when we were watching it, it was kind of hard to make out a few things. So I was like, this is one I definitely want to check out on 4K because blacks and dark scenes and stuff tend to look a lot better when it comes to the 4k format so i'm really excited to revisit this one now that i have it on 4k and see if i like it that much better so excited for that couple upgrades couple new titles for the collection also besides that today we went to go see shang chi with a couple friends i picked up this cool poster from cinemark that we went to uh, i completely forgot it's been a while since i've been to a cinemark that they do free posters there so picked it up right before the movie uh, not knowing how much I would absolutely love the film. And I am not kidding. This might be one of my favorite movies in the MCU now. So if you have not had a chance yet this weekend to go check out Shang-Chi, I highly, highly recommend it. It's awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video of a Blu-ray hunt as well as hearing me talking about Shang-Chi real quick. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. It's a little bonus video for you this week. And I'll see you in the next video.